Hi, Willows. Good morning. Your um, morning activity today is to play Jolly Phonic songs, the alphabet on YouTube. Okay, I'll put links onto Class Dojo's for this, so pause the video if you need to. We're going to start with our phonics phase three. And we're going to recap some of our sounds. So, are you ready for this? S, A, T, P, E, M, N, D, K, O, K, 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 E, O, R, B, S, S, L, L. J, v, w, x, y, z, q, z, ch, sh, Okay, so stop the video in between if you need to to have more time. I'll just repeat after me. You're doing fantastic. Well done. Okay, our new diagram today is this one. And we do it like a cuckoo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so cuckoo sound. Okay, so we're going to read these words with the u uh, in it. So, segmenting hands, ready? G, u, s, use. Well done. B, u, k, buck. Well done. T, u, k, tuck. Fantastic. S, p, u, n, spoon. T, u, l, tool. Fantastic. Well done with your segmenting and blending there, guys. You're doing really, really well. Fantastic. Okay. So you can take a little break if you want before we start English. Okay. If not, then um, we'll continue. If you want to take a break, remember to pause the video. So in English, we are doing the fantastics. And we're using our lenses, which are on the top. Okay. And the book we are doing is The Owl and the Pussycat. Okay. So I'm going to read the book again from the beginning. Then we'll do the pages that we are, that are showing on your board. So the owl and the pussycat went to sea in a beautiful pea green boat. They took some honey and plenty of money wrapped up in a five pound note. Okay. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang to a small guitar. Oh, lovely pussy, oh, pussy, my love, what a beautiful pussy you are, you are, you are, what a beautiful pussy you are. Pussy said to Owl, you elegant fowl, how charmingly sweet you sing. Oh, let us be married, too long we have tarried, but what shall we do for a ring? They sailed away for a year and a day to the land where the bong tree grows. And there in the wood, a piggy wig stood with a ring at the end of his nose, his nose, his nose, with a ring at the end of his nose. Dear pig, are you willing to sell for one shilling your ring, said the piggy, I will. So they took it away and were married the next day by the turkey who lives on the hill. Okay, they dined on mice and slices of quince, which they ate with a Rubicon spoon. And hand in hand on the edge of the sand, they danced by the light of the moon. The moon, the moon, they danced by the light of the moon. And that's the end of the song. And just wanted to say, did anyone recognise anything in the story? Fantastic. There's some rhyming words in our story, isn't there? I wonder if you could notice them and, and uh, pick them out. If you can, maybe write them down and add them to your near your chunk so we can see them on your lovely work. OK. To write the story about to write sentences about the story. So steps to success this time, we're going to do our adjective, which is our noticing lens and our verb, which is our action lens. So remember, adjectives are describing words and verbs are doing words. OK, so our first chunk is. So they took it away and were married next day by the something turkey who lives on the something hill. So here we're putting in two adjectives which describes the turkey and the hill. OK, so think of things that will describe the turkey, what the turkey looks like and then the hill. It could be how tall the hill is, how long the hill is, how steep. OK, 
So here I have put some adjectives up for you. We've got fluffy, feathery, small, big. Um, behind, you don't know if you can see it. We've got steep, long, yeah? You can use big here. So I'm going to put, so they took it away and were married the next day by the feathery turkey who lives on the steep hill. Okay? That would be my sentence. So write your sentence with your red words in there and your adjectives. Pause the video if you need to and we're going to go on to chunk two. Okay, on chunk two, we're going to add our verb, which is our doing word. So after they something by the light of the moon. Okay, so what was it doing under the moonlight in the story? Okay, so here's some things that I said they was doing. They dance, sang, twirled and skipped. So I'm going to put in here, they danced. So after they danced by the light of the moon. Okay, so you need to add one of your verbs in there and then write that sentence for me. Once you've wrote chunk one and chunk two, can you please upload this to class dojos and I'll give some uh, dojos out to everyone who does that. Okay, it's now a break time. So if you want to go and grab a snack or have five, 10 minutes chilling time and then come back to do maths, remember to pause the video here because I'm going to carry on with maths. If you want to carry on, then that's completely fine. Okay, and we'll carry on. So our do it is to add two digit numbers. We've got group one and group two. And as we've been doing all week, we're counting in our heads and moving on. So I'll do the first one for you, which is 15 add five. So 15 in my head, holding five fingers up. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 15 add five equals 20. I'm gonna do the first one in group two now. So 35 add two, 35 in my head, two fingers up. 35, 36, 37, 35 add 2 equals 37. So I'd like you to continue with them, uh, them ones. And uh, once you've done this, go on to your twist it. So pause the video here if you need to to have some more time. Okay. So your twist it. Group 1, Taylor had 27 sweets. Kathleen gave him 6 more. Taylor said he now has 33 sweets. Show why he is correct. So remember, we circle the keywords, which is 27 and 6, and put these into the correct number sentence, and that's how you show he's correct with the answer. Okay, group two. Talia has 45 sweets. Adrian gave her five more sweets. Talia said, Tallulah, sorry, said she now has 50 sweets. Show why she is correct. Okay, so here we'll circle 45 and 5. Put this into the correct number sentence with the answer. Then upload your work to class dojos with your do it and twist it. And I'll give out some dojos to everyone who does that. Now we'll be going on to lunch. So have some lunch and come back and we'll be doing our foundation or extracurricular activities. Okay, see you in the later, Willows.